the lives. And I just want to share some valuable, valuable information with you today. And it is called the cash flow quadrant. And it is basically a breakdown on uh, four ways of four groups of people and how they earn money in America. And so the first one is employees, which is a job, which is between 93 to 95% of all working Americans are only in quadrant one. And these people typically have a high school diploma, college degree, a job starting a career, and then they enter the 40, 40, 40 scheme, which means they work 40 hours a week for 40 years, and then they retire off of 40% of the benefit. This is not a good quadrant to be in to obtain wealth. So the second quadrant is the second one, small business or small business owner. And it's way better than quadrant one for one simple reason. Quadrant two, they can dictate how much cash they make versus quadrant one, they cannot. In quadrant two, you are your own boss. If you wanna make 200,000 or $400,000 a year, you can, depending on the type of business you have. But no matter what you do, you make what you make in quadrant one. You can't just go up to your boss and be like, hey boss, I wanna make 200,000. I wanna make 400,000 this year. That's how much I want you to pay me. It ain't gonna happen. But the only downfall to quadrant two is the small business. It is not an asset, meaning that they're gonna to have to continue to work in order to bring extra income. If they stop working, they're not bringing in any income. And you also have people like specialists, people like doctors and lawyers that are in quadrant two. Now we move into quadrant three, a big business. That is an asset. You have a system working for you. Something like if you own a McDonald's, I'll just get up for an example, you the owner. You have employees working for you, so guess what? You don't have to really work by giving any of your time through a simple process called leverage. Your business is making money for you, whether you yourself work or not. Now guess what? As soon as you get leverage in your small business, your small business has now became a big business. Meaning you don't have to trade your time anymore and you can still make money. Which leads into our fourth quadrant. Now this is the quadrant you want to be in, an investor. People like Mark Cuban, Damon John, Oprah Winfrey, Donald Trump. These people are all billionaires because of their financial education and they are investors. They started in quadrant one, but then they moved to quadrant four. Now, I just want to share something with you. It's not all about the money, but it's about not about how much money you make, but how much money you keep and the opportunities that it's going to create for you. See, the first eight working years of my life, I was in quadrant one, working hard, one of the hardest workers I know. But then I moved to quadrant two. I got a small business. And through hard work and dedication, I obtained leverage. So now I have a big business. So I can stop working and my company, my business will still make money for me. And if you want to know more information about my business, it is called My Econ, which is short for My Economy. And through their three, six, nine strategies, within a couple of years, I want to gravitate to become an investor such as these people. So it's not all about how much money you make and it's not all about the money. But for me personally, it's about the opportunity that it's going to give me and my family. So after hearing this valuable information, just please like, comment, or share. And down below, tell us what quadrant you are in now on which quadrant you want to be in, you know, five to 10 years from now. So thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Like, comment, share, and private message me if you want to know more information about my econ and the 369 financial strategies. Thank you. Have a great day.